Are you one of the many people who struggle to get abs? Well, in today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to get abs in just six weeks. Welcome to today's episode of One Take, your daily butt kicking with myself, Connor Anderton, if you don't know who I am already. I'm an online coach of the last 10 years and I specialise in getting regular guys insane physique transformations and getting them incredibly strong in the process. Now, if you clicked on this video today, it's because you want to know how to get some abs. Okay, it's my job to get people abs. It has been for a very long time. So I want to kind of get into it. No messing around. It's going to be a very informative video, just so you know. So if you're not willing to sit and listen for the next six to seven minutes, click off the video. But if you want to spend the next six to seven minutes learning exactly my process, my formula with myself, with my clients, of how I get them lean, get them abs very quickly, then maybe continue to listen. So let's get straight into it, guys. No messing around. Step one, you have to figure out your calorie intake. So many people want to get lean but aren't willing to calculate their calories. This is the biggest (laughs) no-no. Getting abs, getting lean has to come with a level of commitment. It just does. It's not just going to happen randomly for you. You're not just going to eat a little bit better and suddenly end up shredded. That's not how it works. I mean, some people can. Do not get me wrong. There's always an outlier. If you drop calories enough and don't track, then yes, of course, you will get leaner. But trust me, it's easier to track. It's easier to figure out how many calories you maintain your weight on. Therefore, you know how many calories you need in order to get lean. So what you do, step one, is you're gonna spend the first week not getting lean, essentially, okay? What I want you to do is eat your normal diet. <laughs> I want you to weigh all your food. I want you to add that food into my fitness pal. See how many calories you're eating on a daily basis. Let's say it's 3,000 calories, okay? Within that, you are going to step on the scale every single day and you're gonna see what your weight does. If the scale stays the same and you're eating 3,000 calories a day, you're probably eating around maintenance. Now, of course, we're going to factor in how many steps do you do per day? Has that been consistent? Have you done cardio? Have you trained? Have you done all these things? These are things that we generally have to factor in, okay? So that's important. Don't forget that. But if you're eating 3,000 a day and your weight stays the same and you've done your regular amount of training, you probably know you're eating at maintenance. Now, in order to get lean fast we have to drop from that number and generally a good starting point for any diet is to drop around 500 calories out of that diet but if you're trying to get lean ultra quick you know in the matter of six weeks you might want to drop more you might be looking at 750 to a thousand calories dropped out like that and you will get leaner i promise you that so that's step one do that and i promise it will work step two coming to what we talked about is your output so you have to look at your daily amount of steps, so your regular amount of output, and potentially looking at your training and your cardio as well. So a very easy way to lose fat is to do more steps. Walk more. It, it don't have to recover from walking. It's very easy in general. It's not the biggest time commitment. You know, we spend a lot of time scrolling on our phones, watching TV, when in reality, if we walked for an hour, we'd probably be leaner, okay? So keep that in mind as well. <laughs> So let's put it this way. So you've got a step tracker on your watch or on your phone. Keep it on your all times. Again, for the week, you're going to average or see what average steps you do on a daily basis. Let's say it's 5K. From there, we're going to up it to 8,000 steps. If you want to push even harder, we're going to up it to 10,000 steps. There's no magic number with this. We just have to be ahead of where we were when we started. Okay, so wherever you start, I would aim for 3,000 to 5,000 steps more than you already do. If this was a general fat loss phase, you could just up it by 1,000, 2,000. But we've clicked on this video because we want to learn how to get abs, get lean very quick. Okay, so we're doing bigger calorie drops and we're doing bigger outputs. Okay, so 3,000 to 5,000 steps above where you're currently at. Next, you're going to be looking at your cardio. Do you need cardio? Not necessarily. If you're doing enough steps, if you are pulling calories back enough, you might not need to do any cardio. Again, if it's a six week commitment and I had to just get, you know, someone had a gun to my head to get lean in the next six weeks, I'd be doing a lot of cardio on top of that. So I'd look at 30 minute sessions, 
Two, two sessions of 30 minutes should do the trick on top of all that. If you want to up it, maybe put three sessions at 30 minutes on the back end of your training sessions or on rest days. Uh, that will definitely do your trick. You're looking at burning two, three, upwards of 400 calories. You're not going to do it in low intensity. You're not going to do it in high intensity. You're going to do it in medium intensity where your heart rate sits in sort of like that zone two area. You don't want to be going ultra crazy with your heart rate uh, because what you want to be doing is the ability to recover from it so you can continue to push cardio, continue to push steps and not run yourself into the ground, okay? So we've got number one, count your calories and figure out your starting point. Number two is your output. Right, number three is you're gonna be looking at your regular habits that you have in place and shutting them down essentially or changing them. Now, when it comes to habits, people can, you know, go to the fridge and just grab some food. They can be having sugar in the coffee. They could be having full sugar drinks. Uh, they could have a biscuit with the cup of tea, if you are English. Um, there's, there's many different sort of uh, habits that come into place for people that end up building up a lot of calories over the course of the day. And that's going to be really important to start hitting that on the head and potentially replacing it with better foods, with whole meals. So if you are you know, pulling calories down to, let's say, 2,200, it's getting rid of that snacky mentality, stop grabbing crappy foods. And what you're gonna do is just work that 2,200 calories into a whole meal style plan. So it could be two meals a day, it could be four meals a day, it could be six meals a day, whatever works for you in terms of breaking it down. But what you don't wanna be doing is snacking on little crappy bits of food that are not gonna keep you full, that are gonna force hunger to be even higher and, you know, spike that hunger which is never a good thing you never want to be using two three four five hundred calories a day that doesn't fulfill your hunger when you're in a pretty serious diet phase okay so coming away from bad habits is really important and utilizing you know the energy that you do have in order to prep food cook food whatever it might be okay so guys follow them three steps and i guarantee you will get leaner in six weeks so if you've got like a holiday coming up if you just kind of want to get in and out of a fat loss phase you don't want to spend too much time in it you have to go aggressive do not go slow like a regular fat loss phase if you're dieting for 12 weeks 16 weeks 20 weeks you can take it a lot easier you don't have to do as much cardio you can eat more food you can do less steps but when the idea is to get abs very quick you want to go all in get in get out get lean look great move on okay guys if you like today's video maybe consider liking it subscribe to the channel if you're already not but there's gonna be a lot more content like this to come i appreciate you all watching to this point and i'll see you in tomorrow's video